This is the 2011-2017 Honda Odyssey. Before we get started, let me give a quick shout out to Mia Max Automotive for letting us use the car. They are a used car dealer here in Toronto. Check out the link in description for their entire inventory. Now let's go ahead and get started. Open the driver's side door. Right there by the driver's left side foot, that's the primary hood release lever. Pull it. Now in front of the vehicle, right on top of the Honda emblem there. One of the arms for the H like that. That's the secondary hood release lever. Push it right with one finger. When it's pushed right, raise the hood. Once the hood is raised, this requires a prop rod to stay in place. Get the prop rod out of place, put it in the hood in the slot with the arrow marking it. Just like that, the hood's gonna come down a little bit and now it's secured in place. That's good. Now right there in that air box, that's where the engineer filter is. We need to get that cover off. So there are three clips. One, pull that back. Second one, pull that back. And the third one over there in the back, we have to pull that back as well. Yep, that one right over there. Now. There are two tabs which go into slots over there. We need to get those tabs out of the slots like that. You have to slide it out of that slot like that. That's one. And the second one is back over there. In my case, the slot is broken. So the tab's just hanging over there. But in the, your case, if it's not broken, it's very likely going to be there. So get that off. Now you'll be able to lift up the cover. Do that. Get the air filter out. It'll come right out. And there it is. That's the old engineer filter. The way it works is air comes from the bottom. All the dirt gets trapped over there. That's why the bottom side is dirty. And clean air goes from the top into the engine. That's why the top side is clean. Now go ahead, get the new engineer filter. Match it with this old air filter in the side. It should be the exact same size as the existing one. Now let's go ahead and put the new air filter back into the air box. Before you put it back in though, if you like, you can clean up the air box. You can vacuum clean it because there's likely going to be insects, bugs, leaves and all kind of other debris. You don't have to, but it's just nice to do it. It's up to you. Get the new air filter, slide that in over there. It should sit right in. Now let's go ahead and close up the air box. First, we need to put those tabs back into the slots. It's going to take a few seconds. Just, just be patient. You have to make sure that the tabs are properly in the slots. Otherwise, you'll not be able to put the clips back on and close the air box. Yep, that looks good. Now let's go ahead and do that for the other one in the back over there. In my case, the tab is okay, but the slot is broken. Now I can close the clips. One, two over there, and the third one right there in the back. Yep, that's good. And that's pretty much it. And I hope you found the video useful. In order to close the hood, push on the hood. Get the prop rod out of the slot like that. Put it back in its place. Lower the hood and then slam it shut.